that big Rapala lure, I've just took something pretty big. Absolutely smashed the tail of that that lure. Big chomp and tailor. <laughs> Righto, so the sound had just lit up. Brought in. Now I can find this fish. Oh yeah, it feels heavy. crawling around this atomic deep diver. Feels like a good fish, good flatty. I'm expecting it to run soon. Oh, hang on, no. Yep, flooded. See our hooks, that's why it feels bigger than it is. Make excellent lunch. There he is on this big atomic deep diver lure. Here comes the rain and everything, so hopefully it does clear up after this shower. Cool, so just trawling through with this um, Berkeley Shimmer and managed to hook something as we went through. Which is nice because she's raining and a bit chilly and you want something to show for your effort, don't you? So the rain stopped a little bit now, which is great. Always a bit dangerous when you've got a lure that you like on there. And you can see how he's grabbed that. So lead is very close to getting sawn off in his mouth. I've got eight pound lead on this, so little, like obviously a lot thicker than what I normally fish, like that four pound. Um, but when you're trawling for flathead, you sort of have to go a little bit heavy just in case you do. You do catch a donkey. This, um, this little bloke's gonna go back though. I've got two good fish already, so. Just casting towards that tree over there and um, on the drop something just went whack. Doesn't really start as oh a little couple little head shakes. Flathead. Didn't know I had the lure that low. Must have literally hit it. Coming up. Good fish. Another floody. Yeah, another one. Probably, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. I'll try and zoom in there a little bit later, but um, bit of a nick on the line. That's why it's important to check the line every time you cast. This one absolutely destroyed that that atomic shad or whatever it's called. It's the atomic shad, whatever it is. Atomic prong, it's called. In a radio rooster color.
I don't, I don't have much space to work with here because I found a little spot on the edge of the bank, but basically going to cook a bit of lunch. So first thing I'm gonna do is just fill up this flathead. G'day Mr. Lizard, how are you on this fine afternoon, sitting on your little stool there in front of the creek? Just uh, cast directly onto that tree log over there. I thought, what would happen if I actually caught a fish after hitting that log? And bam, this flathead grabs it. So I haven't caught a fish in the last probably hour and a half and just went bam. So another fish down, um, nice little floody. Uh, I can boat flip this one because I've got six pound leader on now. It is a good looking fish shows that the fish are actually sitting up on the shallow so that's in about half a meter of water that one i've been fishing probably a little bit too deep all day but anyway nice little floody he's won his life today and he got me on the way past too ouch Big floody. Just casting over there underneath that tree, letting the letting the lure just sink to the bottom. And it just went bang. And this thing is heavy as heavy. 
I'm going to say at least at least 65 70 centimeters. So that's a it's a pretty good flathead. <laughs> Fish. For those wondering, I'm still fishing with 4 pound leader. Using um that atomic there it is just there if you guys can see you can see the leader there's the fish oh yeah that's a big fish great flathead try and get to my my net now making this look like amateur hour Oh, that's a donkey. Yeah, that's at least 70. Trophy flathead. For those wondering, we classify a trophy flathead as everything over 70 centimeters. And that is every part of that. You. Look at him dancing across the... Ah! Payback. That was payback. For all the flathead that I've caught over the years. Get a million flathead for today. Wait, flip it. Oh, mate, that's some scars. No. Nah. <laughs> Here we go, another floody on the cast. So, guys, just want to say a big thank you if you got this far through the video. Uh, as a fantastic day out there, the water temperature really hit 20 degrees and the flathead were absolutely firing. Uh, another couple of weeks and we'll probably be going for surface. Um, hopefully everyone has a great night and because you're probably watching this at night or day or whatever and I will see you You on the next adventure